free closing. There is no good time to close. People say that I will do my prospecting, then I will do my appointment, then I will do my fact finding, then I will come to the close. No. The closing starts when you open the case. You open the case and it starts closing by itself. Automatically it will keep going if you are doing the right thing first. There is no right time for closing. Now this is why, this is very important slide. And this is what I want you to understand and I can keep talking on it for days and days and days and days. People don't buy what you do. If you go to an insurance, if you go to a prospect, and you tell him I'm in the life insurance industry. So, so he tells you what? He says, nice to meet you. You're in the life insurance industry. I'm in the airline industry. <laughs> People don't buy you because you are part of the life insurance industry. No. They buy why you do. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do. People don't want Problems, people have problems, they want people who can solve them by giving them solutions. Here are two agents. One is an unsuccessful agent who did not qualify for Dubai, and one is a successful agent who qualified for Dubai. So I am going to tell you the story of an unsuccessful agent. I go to a client, a prospect, and I tell him that I am part of the life insurance industry. I represent Prudential. I'm I'm a part of a very big international company. My company has four branches. And my company has 20 different types of products. And my company gives guaranteed interest rates or variable universal life or gives different types of products. This is part of what I do. The client is not interested in the size of my company. The, the client is not interested in what, man, how many branches my company has. The client is not interested in how many types of products I have. The client is not interested in how many years of an operation I have. So, when I go out introducing my company with what, he has no reason to buy from me. 
I'm way, 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 the other agent from the other company yesterday and he was also saying the same thing so he says this agent and this agent what is the difference okay his company is in four <coughs> territories this company is in eight territories this company has 20 products this company has 40 products what do i care the unsuccessful agent then explains how I do it. And then in the how he explains, you know Mr. Klein, Mr. Prospect, my policy if you pay the premium for say 10 years, after that, if you're not paying the premium, the interest on the policy will continue to maintain the policy and you can continue to get the protection even without paying the premium after say 10 premiums or 20 premiums. And my policy will give you a guaranteed bonus and dividend. And my policy will make sure that if God forbid you die during the first year, the whole sum assured is paid. He is trying to explain to the prospect how the policy is going to help him. He is explaining to the customer the what about the company. He is explaining to the prospect how the product works. And then, he, and then he starts explaining why the client needs the policy. One of my agents who used to work with me early on in his career, he went to a prospective customer and he told him, my policy is from the best company in the region. My company has $2 trillion worth of a balance sheet. And how my policy will help his children get good education, guaranteed education when they reach 18 years of age. 